If you want to master Android apps and games development, then click subscribe and the bell icon. And let's do this together. Open activity underscore main dot XML. Click on play, press Alt Enter and select create play in main activity. In the same way, create play again method. Create an integer variable, current player and save 0 in it. Create a boolean flag to store game state. Initialize true. Let's define an array of integers to manage the game state. Here I am giving minus 1 to all 9 positions to represent unplayed state. Nothing in that slot. Store all the possible winning positions in a 2D integer array that is an array of arrays. Define a string called winner and save x into it. The view parameter in play method is the view that was clicked. We can then convert this view into image view to get the exact image view that was clicked. By setting alpha to 1.0f, we are basically making the image view opaque. Also, we will set the visibility of the image view visible. Say we are going to allow 0 to go first, then we need to have some mechanism to know whose play it is. It is going to be 0 first, then x, then 0, etc. Let's set up that. Define an integer variable called clicked image view. This will store any integer between 0 to 8 based on which image view was clicked. Check if clicked image view is already been clicked and we can check that by checking with game state. Store current player in game state array with position clicked image view. If current player is 0, we will populate the image view with an 0 image. And we will set current player with 1, meaning x image goes next. Else, meaning if current player is 1, we will populate the image view with an x image. We will also set the current player back to 0 again. 
we will also set the visibility of IP clicked visible. We will use a for each loop to traverse through the winning positions to see if any of them in the game state have the same value. For example, if 0, 1 and 2 if they all are 1s that tells us that x has won. If all are zeros, that tells us that zero has won. For each iteration, one array from winning positions to the array will be returned and stored in winning position array. If this condition is true, the game is over and someone has won. So store false in game active. If any winning position contains 0, the winner is O. So we will store O or 0 in winner. Get the handle for TV message. Set its text to indicate he or she has own. Get the handle for linear layout called restart layout. And set its visibility to visible. Else the game might be over. So stored true in game over. Iterate through game state. If at least one item is minus one, the game is not over. In that case, store false in game over. Once the game is over, get the handle for TV message. Show a message for draw.
get the handle for linear layout called restart layout. and set its visibility to visible thanks for watching and i will see you in the next lecture if you find this tutorial useful please like and share the video and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this